What's up everyone, it's XV88Mars. Hey, today we are talking about something that's special. Yeah, special. All y'all people out there that's panicking. Hey, we're gonna be talking about the crypto. Yes, the crypto. Let's go. So Gary basically put out, you know, saying this and that about crypto, you know, towards Binance. Talking about the lawsuit through Coinbase, all right? Coinbase do have a right as saying as the stock market. Most people said that the SEC can change anytime, but why in the hell you can change anytime that you already know that the situation with the company is in, all right? So I think this is for paper hand people, all right? Uh, not diamond hands. When I'm talking about paper hands, I'm talking about the people who's really scared. They basically gonna take out. That's in everything, all right? Most of the people who day trade, right? But people with long terms, people say get out or whatever. Guys, hey, I've been in crypto since 2013, and I'm not gonna get out. Even if something happened or banned in United States of America, I'm not getting out. I'm keeping my crypto there, okay? If it fall, it fall. It's mine. I appreciate all that, okay? What I done for that. Now, if you're a person who just wanna pull out and scare because it's not on Coinbase or this and that, hey, Brian Armstrong is fighting for that, and I understand everything what he's saying. I was listening to some of the people saying that he needs to step down and just follow the rules. Now, what is the rules? Now, if all y'all people who so-called who with cryptocurrency and love cryptocurrency, not just for the day training, for the technology and all the support of the communities, y'all guys will hold. If me, I'm with it all the way. I'm not scared of Gary, the SEC. We had this problem through time, through years ago. When the United States was trying to collect all y'all gold and take it and threaten you saying, if you don't turn in your gold, you will be locked up. This is a different day of time, okay? This is 2023, almost 2024. Ain't nobody scared and nobody's not going to give up that. Now, they talking about if you use a VPN or something like that, you're going to be prosecuted. Hey, nobody is not scared of that. If you can't even protect the gun laws or anything like that, why the hell you think you're going to come and scare somebody else? You can't even clean up the own community that's going on in different types of crime or everything in this city. So no one is not scared of that. All y'all people in the crypto world need to stand up and fight for whatever you do. 2013, I've been in cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency saved my life. It was one point that I got fired from a job, couldn't find a job, stopped manning bitcoins, okay? Stop manning bitcoins, okay? Then later on, Ethereum came around. It saved me. It saved my life. This is not no made up stuff. I'm not trying to be no super YouTuber. And if I do, it's all good. Guys, I'm here telling you the truth. That speak about crypto. I'm just like you. Okay. I'm not the one talking about millions of crypto. The whole thing about it, if you was in there with Bitcoin, all the people from Bitcoin need to stand up too, because we are talking about cryptocurrency. Now, through time, technology change. Okay. Now, Gary is just trying to have old school ways, you know, keep that mentality just like the HOA did with the homes back in the days to keep people out. And you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go on history, learn your history. That's why I tell everyone, before you fight for anything, learn what happened in the past. And this happened in the past twice. Do not let these people scare you. All right. Do not let that happen. All right. When you fight for something, you fight for something. And that's why we got problems. Everybody talking about the law, this and that. Yes, nobody is not stepping over the law, but you got to get the right laws in there. Okay. We're not trying to go back in the past. We're not trying to be modern day slaves. Okay. Not at all. All right. That time is up. That time is done. All right. When you get a little taste of cryptocurrency, you ain't going back in the past if you know what, exactly what you're doing. Yes, I do trade in the stock market. I am a holder up in the stock market. But crypto is a different game. Crypto is the new technology. Crypto is going to be for the people, for everyone around the world. And you cannot be scared. One man who look like Mr. Burns, okay, from The Simpsons. For all those coins, what he called Y'all guys need to go ahead and figure out a way that you can go ahead and try to make it even better. The whole thing, let me tell you exactly what I see goes on. What they're going to do is they're going to let corn, but they mess with corn base. They picking with corn base. They just want to see what's going down. They want to see what's going down with that. Right. And what's going to happen is when they approve that, then they're going to come study them suing corn base. All right. I'm not on financial broker advice or nothing like that. You can lose your money anytime, any place. You can walk down the street and lose your money. You can go talk to a professional. You can lose your money. Now, I'm just saying what I think.
Now, when they approve Coinbase for all this stuff because Coinbase is on the market, what Coinbase can do, they can take their business, now, one part of the business, and move it across overseas, okay, the custodial company, okay? They can form two different companies and do it that way, all right? Now, when you look at it, when they poking with them and stop poking with Coinbase, they're going to stop poking with other cryptocurrencies, all right, places like uh, Solona. Solona, they think it's a company, is ruling, you know, all the funds and different stuff. They're going to poke them, all right? And when they get through poking them, they can put lawsuits against them because they feel like it's a sexy and it's a company that's ruling. You got to know your rights and rules. So before they do that, you got to jump on point, okay? They are picking with y'all guys. Same thing what happened with Bitcoin when New York was threatening them and everything else and all those people let their Bitcoins go. And guess what? Bitcoins went to the moon and all those people was left behind, you know, Hey guys, do not let this stuff scare you. Don't have fear for anything. Only thing you have fear is for the creator. If you let this stuff happen to you, hey, you're going to get poked anywhere, any place. And that's how it goes down. In the crypto world, we're not just talking about one crypto. We're talking about everyone. Everyone needs to join force, all right, and uphold that crypto, okay? Yes, I love Bitcoin. I love Ethereum, all right? I love Cardano, all right? I love Atomic. I am a hold on us. I like Tezos. I love everything that. But y'all guys, all those firms and stuff need to join forces and fight for this. All right. Now, most of y'all guys saying, well, it's not affecting us because we're not in the United States. But they are trying to eliminate some of the things that what we trying to start in the crypto world. Y'all guys need to fight for that. Don't be scared. If you scared, you're going to lose. OK, Gary is just one man. Guess what? A whole lot of politicians love cryptocurrency. Just like people love cryptocurrency, okay? People saying the CEO, you know, Brian from Coinbase should step down, you know, because they telling him the rules, but they already told him something. He trying to talk to these people. He trying to talk to Gary, but Gary telling him to go talk to a lawyer. That is the problem United States. We always the last one. We the last one. Without the Teslas and stuff like that, and people didn't see that uh, technology that was coming around, we would have been the last one because overseas already was producing that. Good. Hey, it's good thing and good things about that. Hey, thank the creator. We have someone like Elon Musk that basically put that technology over here. That way we can experience the EVs, the cars that drive by themselves. It's going to happen, guys. We're not going to go back to no horse and carriage. It's not going to happen. We can't be the last one. United States is always the last one. That's why we short on damn chips and stuff. We look at Intel. Intel was like number one. They are trying to hard the best to pump out. All right. We saw these things happen through the COVID, right? With the shortage of everything. Guys, United States does not like technology. We the last one. And when it happened around the world, we be the always picking at that. We stay should be on top of technology, doing everything, going to space, doing this. We should be the Atlantis of the world. But guess what? It's not going to happen because people like that who want to be your friend for a minute, then turn around and be a foe. You can't be that. You can't be one if you were one nation. If you were one nation, you can't do it. And that's why we got problems in the United States of everything in the law that's going down right now. Hey, this is XV88 Mars Playground, guys. Y'all continue on and hold and do what y'all got to do. But guess what? I still have my Atomic. I have my Tezos. I have all that. And I'm not letting it go for no damn body. Hey, peace.